Let's talk 389467. Now before you yell at me for doing two back-to-back -back cosplay sauces, it's very good sauce bro, leave me alone. Called Dudojin Artist Dream of Cosplay Multiplication. It's from the artist Gosaiji. But like I said, it's another cosplay one, so let's review it. The Dojin starts out with a girl selling a book, with a big old smile on her face. But this guy next to her looks kinda creepy. The two met by the girl hitting him up, asking to be a cosplay sales girl. And the guy was fine without it, but he wants one, so she'll also book a hotel for them. He can't believe that she became a sales girl. We'll call this guy Sensei for now. By calling to get Sensei's attention, the girl tells him that they're sold out and it's time to go. They walk through the streets later and we see that the girl was cosplaying, of course, but Sensei is gonna chicken out. Before he can fully apologize though, the girl pulls up his Twitter where he says he wants to hook up with the cosplayer. It's not that he's chickening out or anything, it's not every day that a man and woman meet for the first time and do this. It's too risky for artists like him, and if she's gonna tell people that he dumped her right away, his career is gone. She says she won't tell anyone. One. It's just that there are people who assume those things when hiring a sales girl. Crossing that line is a different matter, but his main concern is that if he loses his V card, he might not be able to draw arrow manga anymore. She asks if he doesn't want to do it with her, but he does. He's also worried about whether or not it's going to be taken as sexual harassment or something. She gets annoyed and tells him that they're doing it. They go to the room and Sensei is in the shower, worrying about the situation and his wallet. Walking out of the shower, wondering if he's going to get blackmailed, we see that the girl changed into the outfit she was wearing before which knocks him out. She pulls him close, but he's gonna chicken out again. But he's getting excited down there. He sprays milk on her and says he'll pay for cleaning and go home. But she's still annoyed about him going on like that. And they do the do. They finish round one and he's still worried. She then takes off her wig and asks why he doesn't look happy. And he could have just refused her to be his sales girl. She's not a bother, but it's just that such a cute girl being a sales girl and multiplying with him. And the fact he's not famous, his tweets are creepy, and he's still a virgin. There's no benefit for her. She wants to help because she's in love, which shocks him, but she's just in love with his books and seeing his tweets. That gave him the wrong idea. But she says she'll do all the stuff he tweets about. And she does this blush thing and they do the do again. They finish and he doesn't know why she chose him. But she asks him to stop being so anxious with such a big fan there. He questions his morals but she says she can become more than just his fan. Like being lovers or something. He gets worried again. And the dojin ends with her saying that they already multiplied and he's still worried about that. Overall I rate this dojin a 9.2 out of 10. The one thing dragging this score down is that the girl didn't have a name. And neither did the boy really, but it also gets dragged down by the morals of it. Besides that though, it's a pretty wholesome and cute read. You should check it out for yourself if you want, but that's all I got. I'll see you in the next one. Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul. These hentai babes make me drool. Hasune Biku is great. She makes me masturbate. Fairy tale.